so coming to the next uh, important topic is the global lv systolic function assessment by the changes in the volume or the dimension of the lv so here we have fractional shortening fractional area change ejection fraction actually measured by the changes in the volume stroke volume and cardiac output so as you can see one is only dependent on the dimension one is dependent on the area change third is dependent on the volume change most probably a very good uh, uh, measurement tool and uh, stroke volume and cardiac output uh, appear like as if a physiological phenomenon but it was it is hugely variable as we can see from the physiological point of view and uh, this is what is the fractional shortening this is a simple tool and used many a times in our uh, day to day practice still that it is lv and uh, diastolic diameter minus lv and systolic diameter by lv and diastolic diameter will give you the fractional shortening what is the fractional shortening so end diastole and end systole usually it is taken at the just before the peak of the r wave is taken as the end of the diastole and at the end of the t wave is considered as the end of the systole so here you can see this is the actual uh, echo parameters wave which we usually see on the uh, echo screen you can take it in the short axis or you can take it in the uh, plax view and uh, you will see that the measurements you take from here to here the the cursor is on the in the m mode you will take the all the measures in diastolic systole the it will measure the lv fractional shortening also it will measure and then accordingly it will measure also the lvf also you can see there is minimal movement in the heart actually the septum is not at all moving and the posterior wall is showing some flittering movement so the lvf is coming very much low so here he, this is the one which uh, we usually see and it actually measure the fractional shortening uh, rather than the actual uh, ejection fraction to be frank 